55 year old man is brought to the emergency department three hours after ing ingesting approximately 30 tablets of an unknown drug to uh, in an attempted suicide attempt his temperature is 97.7 degree fahrenheit pulse is low 40 40 is low normal is 60 to 100 respiratory rate is 90 normal is 12 to 16 it's increased Blood pressure is low, 85 to 50. Normal is 120 by 80. Examination shows cold, clammy extremities. That's abnormal. Scattered expiratory wheezing is heard throughout the lung fields. There's some bronchoconstriction and uh, wheezing heard. His sphingostic blood glucose concentration is 62. His hypoglycemic. So some drug is causing the hypoglycemic in this patient. ECG shows prolonged PR intervals and narrow QRS complex. Okay. Then intravenous fluid resuscitation and atropine does not improve the symptoms. Okay. Atropine is a sympathetic drug, anti anticholinergic drug, so it causes increase in heart rate. So it is not improving his pulse or anything. So administration of which of the following is the most important next step in treatment of this patient? Uh, this is a beta blocker poisoning, as I as I told because obviously we have uh, pulse less beta blocker you know increases pulse rate uh, sorry beta agonism increases pulse but beta blocker decreases pulse while the person has uh, a hypoglycemia and beta blocker poison i'll give you a clue what what uh, does what is the effect of insulin on uh, uh, what is the effect of insulin uh, when you stimulate beta 2 receptor Insulin release happens uh, when you have beta 2 uh, stimulation. If you stimulate beta 2 receptor, it causes insulin release. Okay. So insulin, what it does, it causes uh, uptake of glucose from the bloodstream. So it causes hypoglycemia. Right. So, uh, now you, you have a beta blocker overdose. Now what do you give in beta blocker overdose? You give glucagon. This is very important because uh, glucagon it increases cyclic amp so what glucagon does is it activates adenylate cyclase which increases cyclic amp okay now as you know by the uh, by the mnemonic alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 beta 2 you have q i s s right and m1 m2 m3 has q i q okay this is the mnemonic kick and kiss okay so if you know you have to know the g protein pathway very well g i g p sorry g i g q and gs these are very 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 important please mark the uh, page which has gi gq gs and uh, the page which has contraction uh, and relaxation through myosin and actin uh, phosphorylation in your first aid okay now you know uh, gs causes gs protein causes increase in camp Right, so CAMP is increased by GS pathway. Now, the glucagon which is given obviously increases CAMP, so it acts like it is stimulating beta beta receptor. So, what it does is beta blocker overdose. Uh, in the patient with, with beta blocker overdose, intravenous glucagon should be administered uh, because it uh, acts like an agonist of beta beta receptor. And heart rate does not res uh, does not respond sufficiently because the patient is not responding to IV fluids and atropine. You have to give glucagon. This you have to know. You have to know all the antidotes for all the overdoses. What's the antidote for the uh, tricyclic antidepressant poisoning? TCA poisoning, what is the antidote? What do you give when uh, TCA poisoning? Uh, okay, it, it is there in this, it is there in this uh, option. Okay, you give sodium bicarbonate. Please note it. 
what do you give in uh, uh, opioid poisoning opioid correct correct naloxone you give right and uh, what do you uh, what do you give in uh, op poisoning correct atropine and oxens very good and uh, obviously activated charcoal is given only when the patient has ingested one hour ago so the patient has ingested some aspirin tablet say say he has ingested one hour ago aspirin tablets and you uh, you give activated charcoal not for 3 hours ago okay it's too late to give uh, activated charcoal what what uh, what is okay digoxin specific antibodies obviously given in digoxin toxicity what are the uh, features in digoxin toxicity main features okay what kind of what kind of uh, vision is there in uh, digoxin toxicity vision vision problem in digoxin what kind of digoxin uh, not diplopia uh not diplopia okay what color color vision is there in digoxin toxicity is it is it blue is it yellow is it brown it is xanthopsia is it, it is xanthopsia there is yellow color tinge okay yellow color tinge in digoxin toxicity where where is uh, where is it uh, where there uh, what what has uh, blue color toxicity blue color tinge what drug causes blue color vision where do you see you see in silden apple okay. okay these are some of the facts factoids next if we go through the question sodium bicarbonate is obviously given in metabolic acidosis because it is a base okay now although sodium bicarbonate is used in propanol overdose which is not effective in other treatments of uh, uh, which is not effective in the treatment of other types of beta blocker toxicity typically manifestations of beta blocker toxicity causes uh, y a qrs widening due to sodium channel blockade our patient what does he have he has all the other uh, ecg findings such as prolonged our uh, PR interval and narrow QRS complex. A propranolol causes widened QRS complex. So best is you have to give glucagon. Paludoxin, as you told, right? It is used in cholinergic syndrome, increased salivation, correct? Lacrimation, dumbbells, right? If I'm not wrong, the mnemonic is dumbbell. There is diarrhea, there is increased uh, urination, there is increased salivation, lacrimation, meiosis, sweating, correct? Because cholinergic pathway always increases peristalsis, right? So if you think uh, if there is two function which cholinergic uh, pathway does, increased peristalsis, so there is increased peristalsis of GI system causing diarrhea, there is increased secretion, lacrimation, Correct. So salivation, sweating, everything, and meiosis for sure. These are the causes of uh, OP poisoning. Now, what do you give? Pralidoxin and uh, uh, atropin, which is which activates the acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. Uh, esterase again, okay. We started late. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, digoxin toxicity. We spoke spoke about it then uh, while uh, we we spoke about digoxin toxicity uh, the blurry vision because of yellow tinge xanthopsia it is called and nausea vomiting abdominal pain and cardiac arrhythmias digoxin uh, is used in uh, what two conditions if you can recall heart failure and arrhythmias okay because digoxin decreases contractility of the heart so it is used in uh, uh, this one um, and uh, sorry uh, it increases uh, it increases calcium right it increases calcium in the cardiac muscle so it, it is used in uh, heart failure and it also uh, in arrhythmias sa node active inactivation it does so it is used in arrhythmias this is the uh, pathophys uh, physiology of uh, digoxin how it is used and naloxone as you told is used in uh, opioid poisoning thanks for watching 
please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.